Hello, welcome to my review of Netflix series Lock and Key. This is going to be a non-spoiler review because this is one of those series that I needed and you will need a little patient to let things unfold and the dots to connect, okay? So I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But I will admit that I struggled through the first few episodes. After the first half of the season, I was not sure if I want to finish, but by the end of the last episodes, I was excited and want to know what happened in the second season. Let me tell you why the first half was a struggle for me. I'm not a big fan of uh, this kind of TV shows. You know, I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter's as well as many other fantasy, young adult kind of movies or TV series. I watch many of them, but often they don't really appeal to me and not my bag of chips, okay? But perhaps that kind of skew my expectation. That being said, the thing that underwhelmed me the most in the first half of the season was the acting. I really felt the acting was not on point. It's hard for a young cast, okay? I think as I watch the first half of the season, I can't help but comparing them to the cast of Stranger Things because you have people, kids, teenagers that are approximately in the same age group. And it's just show me that how great that cast was as far as the Stranger Things was. Maybe it's not fair to, to compare with this cast. Um, you know, it's tough for a young actor to get that skills to become believable in how they act and behave and make you love the character. That being said, by the end of the season, I think many of them got better and they start to become less of an issue for me. Okay, so that's my view of the problem with the show. The other issue I had with the show was the way all of the younger actors and as well as the adult dealt with the key. The key have great magical power, yet in many occasions, I felt the reaction to what the key can do is underwhelming. I would expect a lot more, wow, I'm not an actor, okay? So trust me, if I was acting, you would give me an F. But that took me out of the story a lot in the first half of the season because every time a new key was found, I find that the character was too blasé about what the key can do. If they are not excited enough about the key, it's hard for me to get excited about the key. But once, you know, I got into the groove and the last three episodes unfold the mystery and tie and connect the dots together, it start to make sense. There's a lot of things that didn't make a whole lot of sense in the first half of the season, but my advice is, if you enjoy the show enough, stick with it because once the dots start to connect and make sense, it become much more fascinating, at least for me. So overall, it was a positive reaction by the end uh, I'm glad I stuck out and finished the series. Uh, and that's my review uh, for Lock and Key. I look forward for season two. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.